My dear Nagas, my name is Tropika Semi and I'm from Dimapur, a small but a very busy and dusty town. Okay, so the poll dates has been announced and elections will be held very soon. So what are we going to do about it this time? The churches and some organizations are vouching for clean election and there are some groups who are demanding for solution before election. But we do not know what will transpire, so let's keep that aside for some other time. We've been complaining and complaining for over a decade. Today we are confronted with so many problems. The roads are so pathetic, electricity is very poor, coupled with corruption, nepotism, backdoor appointment, non-payment of salaries to the staffs of various departments, and the list goes on. So are we going to keep on complaining or do something about it? I'm a strong advocate of clean election. Clean election, it is not only about uh, refusing money from the candidate and voting for that same old corrupt candidate. It is about voting for the right and upright candidate. Social media is a very powerful medium of communication and to make ourselves aware of the situation around us. And I'm glad that, they, that our youths are making use of this medium to express their opinion and, and anguish against the ills of our society. But how long are we going to keep on complaining complaining only on the social medias. How long are we going to uh, keep on roaring like a lion in the social medias and do nothing in reality? Youths constitute about 60% of the total population of a state. And if we really yearn for a change, I believe we can achieve anything. People say that the youths are the leaders of tomorrow. But why wait for tomorrow when our present leaders are corrupt and tainted? Why wait for tomorrow when we can make a change today? So my appeal to all the youths is, let us come out of, out of the four walls of our room and bring about a change in our society. Let's make a difference this election. Thank you.